The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on? How are you doing today, Tom? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? I am, thank you. Uh, I was really just commenting on the fact that I'm really enjoying the new format with you being there when the market's still open. We've uh, assembled a great group of people. They're all great technicians. I'm just so glad that I first got you on the radio with your little tiger growl. I'm like, who is this guy? And it got my attention, and I, it's really made a positive change in my life. You're awesome, man. Thank you so much. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is kind and just. When you're in love, a smile is always on your face. You feel good about yourself, and because you are happy, you're kind. Love is also just. When you make a mistake, you only pay once for that mistake. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 74, NASDAQ down 24, S&P's down a buck and a half, gold contract flat at 12.75, 60 an ounce, silver up 13 cents, $16.82 an ounce, platinum up 4.50 at 9.40 an ounce, copper up a penny and a half at $2.89 a pound. Light sweet crude, up 49 cents, $50.20 a barrel. Notes, 10-year note, down one tick, 125.29. 30-year bond, down four ticks, 153.02. King dollar, down 400 ticks, 97.705. King dollar, just still can't get a bid. Pretty wild, folks. The euro is trading at 118 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 110 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? You have the SPY trading sideways at 246.86. What you can expect out here, you know, window dressing folks, we're going to see that SPY trying to get into the high, which is 248. We take a look at the cash S&P. What you're looking at in the cash S&P right now, we're at 2471. That high we're talking about is 2484.04. Dow Industrials, Dow continues to go up to higher price. You're at an all-time high right now. You're up 74 bucks. The NDX 100. Now, the NDX 100, as well as the composite, uh, what you have is this. So, we got to a high today of 59.32. You're at 58.82. Bottom line, I expect it's going to try to make a run for the high once again. I don't think it's going to make the high. That's the bottom line. Uh, bottom line, you know, we'll see how it shakes up there. But I do expect you're going to see in the next couple of days it make a run once again. We got Apple that's coming out with numbers after the close tomorrow. Um, Apple has the, the chance to basically get up into those highs, put the NDX 100 up into those higher levels, and that's the last major NDX stock that's going to be coming out with numbers that can actually move that NDX fast. The composite, the composite is at 63.51. The high up there is 64.60. I don't, I don't expect we're going to get it tested. We got to a high today of 63.96. I do expect you're going to get higher than that the next few days. Gold contract. Okay, so gold out here, folks, trading... We're in the December contract. Gold is trading at a price point of 1275.80. You've done 154,000 contracts, which is good contract volume. It wants to run to this 12, I mean 1305 to 1307 area. That being said, uh, this is getting really wild because the bottom line is that gold should have been a, like a rocket ship when you're talking about this. This dollar still can't handle price. You know, the dollar broke down again today. You're at the 92.70 right now. What we've done is that we've actually broke the consolidation on a long-term basis. Uh, you take a look at this, and what you're going to see is that the consolidation that we've been in since March of 2015, well, you get the break on it. Um, and it's pretty decisive. So, 
bottom line, you know, 88 is where this baby wants to go. Now, the real question is, is there going to be any type of bounce in between that? Um, the correlation still isn't cool to me personally when, when I'm looking at the dollar breaking down and gold still can't make the, make the run. Notes, the 10-year note, what we have with the 10-year note, 10-year note right now is going sideways. I expect the 10-year note, we're going to probably test the lows of last week, which is like the 125.15 area. 30-year bond, I expect the same type of setup. That being said, I'm expecting that that is only going to be the test. Both notes and bonds still want higher price. So 152.03 is game, I think, in the 30-year. And if we do go over to King Dollar, bottom line, King Dollar hasn't been able to get a, a bounce. Um, you know, we, we've gone from 103 uh, January 3rd to 92.700. That, folks, is one monster move. There's no, there's no two ways about that. Some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here in this market, let's take a look at it. You have the Advanced Micros down 35 cents. You get uh, Micron Tech off a of buck 30. Um, Hertz is down uh, 328. That's getting taken apart. You get Facebook off two bucks. We get uh, Discovery Communications. They're taking over uh, Home and God, and that uh, Discovery's down two dollars and 38 cents. Uh, bottom line is that when you look at the other side of that, you get uh, Charter up five percent. Uh, Liberty's up 4.5 percent. Uh, the Biotechs, what you have inside the biotechs right now, the IBB, that's trading sideways, down $2. Some of the Dow stocks out here, we take a look at some of the Dow stocks. What you have is that you have uh, ExxonMobil's up $0.62. Cents. That's after getting killed on Friday. You get the Boeing uh, all-time highs up a buck thirty-seven. Um, GM is uh, up $0.22. Cents. You get Hewitt Packet off 3 Sprint is down uh 15 cents. Uh, Amazon out here today, folks. Uh, Amazon continues to lower price with volume. Uh, Amazon made an all-time high out here on Thursday, 1,083. Right now, you're at 9.90. And Amazon, uh, when Amazon corrects, folks, it's brutal. Um, and it's it's always an equity that you know you'd like to basically pull back, pull in a get in a pullback. Uh, but when this baby pulls back, it is absolutely brutal. And I mean, Amazon, it won't be hard for Amazon. 945 is next. If you get the kind of volume that we have right now, then you, you game to 717. And guess what? 499 is open. So <laughs> that when Amazon comes down, man, it comes down. It's fast. It's furious. It's all of the above. We take a look at the uh, GLD. Uh, that's the Street Tracks Trust inside the gold market. What you're going to see is that uh, we're up today. That volume is dying on the vine. You're coming into 21 million, and you get 2.8 million. So when I start putting those together, the dollar hasn't been able to catch a bid. Uh, but the way that the gold market is trading out here versus the dollar, I suspect uh, some kind of a bid is going to come uh, somewhere. And uh, we'll just see where that uh, does shake out. We're going to take a look at the uh, Apple. So Apple, after the close tomorrow, 4.30. Uh, Apple right now has been in this consolidation for quite some time. The top of this consolidation is 156, and you're at 148. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 81. NASDAQ is down 20. S&P's a flat. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Trading is different than investing, but the opportunity to take advantage of short-term trends is only one if you get the direction right. Direction leveraged and inverse ETFs offer bold trades on U.S. and international stocks and bonds. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 81. You get the Nasdaq down 18. S&Ps are flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first hour. Steve, got a great show right here at TFNN, folks. Every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, you can get all the programming at TFNN right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. And your browser, you hit Tiger TV, you're going to get some great HD quality video. Steve's also got a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now you can come over to our website and test drive that. You go to TFNN, you go to newsletters, you go to trading newsletters, you see Master and Probability, you can test drive it 30 days, absolutely free. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, let's keep with the uh, theme of gold just for a few moments here, um, since it's near and dear to you, me, me as well. And no question that you talk about, you know, the dollar's getting toasted and roasted and gold's not moving much. But, but what we always have to remind ourselves is just this amazing direct correlation, direct correlation, directionally correlated between gold and the yen out here. And, and there's nothing like taking a look at this 10-minute chart. The top portion happens to be the uh, December contract for gold. The bottom portion is the uh, is the uh, uh, is, is the uh, continuous contract for uh, yen futures out here. That way we can see the exact you know price correlation, and, and it's just amazing how correlated these two are. So I really pay attention to what's going on inside of the uh, yen. In fact, the yen. Uh, on a, a daily basis, I believe it was it was several weeks ago. Was what took subscribers and myself into uh, long gold trade, um, as well as the uh, miners. And, and speaking of the miners, and you probably know this, but we'll just share this with uh, listeners out there. Since the bottom uh, that uh, was formed inside the GDX back in 2016, January 2016, this thing has had a 61 percent run. Even though we're off of the highs, you know, that formed out here in August of uh, 2016. So it's been a, a great instrument out there. And um, um, the other thing that I like about gold, Tom, is uh, this chart here. What gold has kind of been really sneaky. And the bottom panel is uh, taking a look at uh, gold. And what it's actually doing right now it's trying to break above a significant trend line that it that began forming back in October 2012 and it's just trying to sneak above that so we're either up against a real significant resistance level and we see it turn back down or it's really getting ready to break out and 
perhaps go test a, a trend line that takes us all the way back into the August 2011 time frame, which would take us into the 1400 level. So I just suggest to listeners and viewers out there to also pay attention to gold um, and, and the euro. I'm not uh, well. Speaking of the euro, but but yen. Uh, take a look at yen futures to see where they're going. But speaking of the of a, of a nice run that we've had inside of gold, if you take a look at gold priced in euros, that's the top portion of my screen. Uh, it has not broken its rising trend line. That's the green line at the bottom. So it's trading inside of this wedge pattern that's out here. Um, I like what I see. I like what I see inside of the yen. And uh, so I just uh, thought since you were just talking about that, I would go ahead and start off talking about that. I, I hear you loud and clear. But yeah. let me tell you something. When the dollar goes from 103 to 93 and gold doesn't really get going, yeah, we'll, we'll find out where it shakes out. But well, well, then if, if and if the that's yen, the, case, the yen just went from 114 to 110. So oh, no question. Yeah, no question. No. And, and if that's the case, then we're really up against a pretty significant uh, trend line that is held, as I say, forming beginning back in October of 2012. So just thought we would go ahead and, and just start there. The other thing that I wanted to go ahead and share with uh, listeners out here, and it was brought to my attention by by another tiger earlier during my show from one to two was the Dow transports. And uh, and, and I've also heard a bunch of folks talking about uh, the market, whether it's going to move higher or not, and identifying the Dow transports as a as an early indication that the market is topping, even with the Dow moving higher. And so if we go back and take a look at some other examples of when the transports have topped, that's the top portion of the screen that we're looking at. The most recent time period was back in November 24th of 2014. We saw where the Dow transports had topped. But the Dow continues. I think we just lost them. We'll get them back. Sorry about that, folks. We will, we will get them back. The, um, yeah, so he was looking at the transports. So if we just take a look at the transports for a second. Uh, the transports, folks, they, 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 they took a hit uh, July 14th. Uh, they were at the 97.63. They're at 92 right now. Now, there's no doubt what, what Steve, I believe, was going to say is that they haven't broke a trend line. They haven't, because I was listening to this program a little bit earlier. Um, so we'll, we'll get him back uh, as fast as possible. We go take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials, and this is what you have. Uh, inside the Dow out here today, you have the um, Home Depot is the leader. That's putting 11 positive points. Goldman's putting 10, you have uh, Chevron putting 10, 3M's putting 10, Boeing's putting 8. Taken away from it, DuPont's taking, putting 9 negative points, Apple 4, McDonald's 3. You can see that's nothing in the context of where we are. Dow, and inside the NDX 100, what we have, leader out here is Charter Communications up 5.5%. Uh, you get Liberty up 5%, Baidu.com is up 3 and Costco is up 3. Uh, taken away from it, Discovery. Uh, oh, look at that thing, it really got hit. So, that, you know, I, I, the, this is wow. So, Discovery's taken over home, Scripps, Home and Garden. Uh, Discovery's coming down hard into the swing point of 22.43. That's got juice behind it, too, man. That's pretty intense. Uh, so, uh, Discovery Communications is buying Scripps. For 11.9 billion, and I bet that you, the, that uh, United ownership of the cable channels like Animal Planet and HGTV will help the company adapt to fast to fast changing television landscape. Yeah, uh, Discovery, one of jo billionaires John Malone's key holdings, is grappling with shrinking audience at some U.S. channels, including Discovery Channel and Animal Planet, as consumers drop cable subscriptions and get more entertainment online from Netflix and others. Yeah, there's no there's no doubt about that. That uh, that is a fact, no doubt about it. Uh, let's get over and we'll take a look at uh, Great Panther. Now, what you are going to have happening, this is what we, when we're just talking about the golds and the equities and uh, all of the above. What you're going to see out here this week, we have a slew of earnings. So all the gold stocks that are coming out this week. Um, right now, Great Panther, Great Panther is up four cents. Uh, this is a sign of strength, big time. You know, we've done 2.9 million shares out here. Uh, you're coming into a swing point that had uh, 1 million shares, a swing point that had 900,000, and the bottom line, this is uh, making its way up to the 138 area. They came, they come out, I gotta give Bob a text, they come out uh, Wednesday, Wednesday after the market close, that's, that's when uh, that's gonna be coming out. 
um, many of the others. And what you do have, it, there's no doubt inside the um, the equity market, uh, you know, there's, there's quite a few of these gold equities that have done ABC structures on the way up. They're taking the B point out, taking it out with volume, all of the above, um, you know. But as I just said to Steve, um, there's some, to me, there's something not quite right uh, in dollar, uh, euro, yen, gold land there. Um, you know, it's, it's been a decent run, but not, so here, watch. This is what's gonna be really wild, but you know, the, the dollar, man, here at 92.71. Uh, the bottom line is that we just went from 103 to 92. That, folks, is about as intense as you can get. You stay right there, folks, and we come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 85, NASDAQ is down 18, S&P's a flat. We're gonna be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's get over and take a look at the uh, oil market out here. So, uh, oil right now, folks, up 49 cents. You're at $50.21. Um, this, no doubt, has juice behind the move. Uh, we have a swing high out here of 52.38 that it looks like it's going to go after. Now, this is what this is really going to get interesting, and this is what it's all about. You, you get Venezuela that we buy 700,000 barrels a day of oil off, folks, okay? And of course, you get Venezuela simultaneously um, 
bottom line, they're already a dictatorship. Never mind what, what this whole vote was about over the weekend, changing their constitution. So what you're going to see play out in the next couple weeks is this, and, and I've talked about this before, as to the aspect of politics, the financial shocks inside the market, and power. And this is where the problem comes in with Venezuela. The first part of it is that we buy 700,000 barrels a day off them. So if we put sanctions in that market, let's go over and take a look at the price of gas. So unleaded gas right now is $1.67. <laughs> if we put sanctions on Venezuela at 700,000 barrels a day, folks, guess what? That is going to go through the roof. That's the first part, which is not good for any administration, right? The second part gets more intriguing, and this is what it is. It is the large funds, our funds, U.S. funds, that in our banks that own the majority of the debt. And the majority of that debt, it's really intriguing, too, because... The debt is still going, even though Venezuela is down the tubes dramatically, the debt is going for about 67 cents on the dollar. Because I've been looking at the debt, and I'm saying to myself, man, it's only going to be a matter of... My take on this is that it's going to turn in Venezuela. Now, if you asked me that three months ago, I would say that, okay, I didn't even think they could get down this far, because I think it's, it's close. But guess what? If, in fact, we put sanctions in, inside the oil market against them, what you're going to see immediately is that it's going to basically crush the banks, our banks. It's going to crush the trade. It's going to bring up the gas prices. So it's like, this is going to be a wild one watching out. So I'm, st I'm staying away from it. But the reason I'm, I'm bringing it up is that this is right next to us. And... You know, this is a wild card that everyone kept talking about, you know, the OPEC and all this. This thing's about Venezuela right now, for us, for us, us in the United States, you know. But it looks like it wants to go to 5238. And, you know, we'll see how that whole debt structure uh, gets done. 877-927-6648. Let's get over and we take a look at the bonds next. So the way the bonds are setting up is, you know, we came down last Tuesday, and we came down with some good volume. We didn't break a, lo a lower swing point. The lowest swing point in the 10 years is 124.25. We got down to a 125.15. It kind of repaired itself Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This morning, it can't handle higher price. So where, where my head's going is that it looks to me like we got window dressing happening, They'll get the Dow a lot higher. They'll probably get the S&P into new highs. As that happens, we come back down. We test this lower end inside the bonds. Then, I suspect after that, you're going to make that run for the highs of June 14th. Because that high of June 14th, folks, is a high volume high. That's going to get tested, 128.07. We take a look at the structure right now. The 10 years at 2.2. Um, if we take a look at the last six months... Uh, 2.16 uh, is the low, 2.62 is the high. So we're basically almost right in the middle uh, of that. The last year, of course, is a whole different ball game. Um, the low for the year, now this has changed. It used to be 1.32. Now it's 1.501 as the low and the high is 2.6. Um, so there's, got, there's, a, there's a lot of, between the, the currency and the bonds, there's, there's a lot happening here. We go, we take a look at the euro. Uh, the euro right here, this is a big expansion at 118. And longer term, you know, listen, I think that, I think that the dollar still wants to bounce, but longer term, we're going to 88. We might go to 72. Uh, the euro launched its whole consolidation in a huge way. It launched it with strength. This euro wants a buck 20, and it very well can want a buck 39. You know, so that, that's, that's, that's a decent number. In fact, 138 looks like it's going to be game pretty easy. Pull this up. Yeah. Oh, no, 123. 123 is the, 123 would be the number. But that's, that one, one if, if that's where the euro is going, we're going down to 88. 
Uh, we go take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI. The XAU and the HUI, both of them are ABC structures on the way up. They're confirmed ABC structures on the way up. You know, uh, and if you do get the gold report, you know that, yeah, I'm thinking the dollar's going to get a bounce, but because of the way that the reaction uh, was to these equities on the way down, uh, I don't think that the gold and silver equities are really going to get hit hard. I just don't see it because it's just the opposite reaction. <laughs> uh, you, you, get a, you get a pullback, and it's just the, the building of cause in order to get to the higher price. So the XAU is at 85.43. I expect that's going to make a run to the 90.82, which is April high. The Gold Bugs Index, uh, same type of setup inside the Gold Bugs Index. Um, and what's going to get intriguing, of course, is that uh, these equities, that it's going to be all this week that you're going to get quite a few of them coming out. The Gold Bugs Index right now is 196.80. I expect we're going to see 216.56. So there's going to be some uh, decent action uh, in these equities. Let me just see. I think Royal, Royal Gold already came out, right? You know, Royal, so Royal Gold is uh, after the close, August 10th. You have uh, Franco Nevada's uh, August 8th. Now, I don't like how Franco Nevada's trading. This is, there's some divergence here. You know, Royal Gold and Franco Nevada, they're both royalty stocks. You know, Franco Nevada for years was the strongest one out there. But I don't like how this is trading right now. This looks like it wants lower price. What has happened is that Rangel Resources has picked up the speed. Now, Rangel comes out uh, af with their numbers at 2 o'clock, oh, no, at 2 o'clock in the morning on the 3rd. Uh, Rangel did take out its B point last Wednesday with volume. So that's an ABC structure on the way up, too. And many of these may turn into complex ABC structures on the way up. In fact, uh, if they do, you want to be all over them. So a complex ABC just means that you have taken out a B point, meaning a higher high, taken out with volume. You back down. As you're backing down, you're backing down with lighter volume. And if it's complex, it's going to go underneath the B point. If we go take a look at McEwen Mining, uh, McEwen's coming out before the market on Thursday morning. Um, and yeah, there's, there's, I mean, McEwen can, you know, that can go down and test uh, 248. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. The Dow is up 89. NASDAQ is down 17. S&Ps are up a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2000, 
2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Let's take a look at the uh, copper market out here, folks. Uh, so ho copper uh, has been on a tear. Um, there we go. So uh, you're, you're trading 289 right now inside copper. Uh, you know, you go back uh, May 8th. May 8th is 248. You're at 289 right now. And HG1, let's put this on a continuous contract. So what you're going to see here is that you took out a consolidation, top of the consolidation is 282, next swing out here is 296. Okay, so you're going to, copper should catch a lot more flack uh, when you're getting around the, uh, this is pretty, it'd be pretty funny if it's the psychological mark, meaning the uh, $3 mark. See, we, copper traded at $3 from uh, April of uh, 2013. Uh, to November of 2014, so you should you should get some flack uh, in there. If we go, if you want to take a look at just how fast uh, those equities can move, uh, when you see an ex you know acceleration like that, you get the largest copper stock, uh, $33 to $39 uh, in the same time frame. Uh, iron ore, uh, and this is what's cool when we start talking commodities, folks. Uh, iron ore out here today, uh, you're talking $582 per 100 ton. Uh, you take a look at that. I know it was at 412 on June 14th. Uh, bottom line, there's not much stopping this uh, because this came down so quick. 570, yeah. It looks like I know it wants six. Let me put this on a weekly first. Ooh, that's really intriguing. 567. You know what? I know it wants to go to 685. That's pretty intense. And, of course, uh, one of the largest iron ore stocks uh, would be Valley. Uh, Valley uh, is trading up 39 cents, $10.06. Now, this took out a B point um, last week with volume. You know, your B point out here was $9.53. The high was on the 19th of June, of July, rather. Um, 16 million shares. It blew that away with 55 million shares. Good old Valley is uh, making its way up to this $11.70 area. So it's a big one. Um, no two ways about that. The uh, Microsoft. Uh, let's go take a look at Microsoft. So Microsoft out here, uh, $72.84. And uh, now this is where this gets intriguing with Microsoft. So when the NDX stocks, folks, they, May 17th is the first time they came down hard. Then they came down hard again on June 6th, 7th, and 8th. Then they came down hard uh, last uh, Thursday. Uh, Microsoft did. Well, they did in general. Uh, what Microsoft's just done, though, is that it's tested the low of that. We got the 72.41 today, the low is 
It's testing it with dramatically lighter volume. And that's saying, guess what? This thing's going to go up into the highs once again. Now, the correlation, of course, uh, between Bill Gates and uh, Bezos being the richest man in the world, well, you know, Bezos had it for a few hours uh, on the 27th, and he's basically, uh, it's down $100 from then. Well, it's down $90 from then. We just went from uh, 1,083. We're at 990 right now. We've hit 987 today. So every dollar is $80 million. So what's that, $8 billion that uh, Bezos just went down. But guess what? When you're talking that kind of money, um, I'm sure they, <laughs> I'm sure he may keep track of it, but not uh, the way we would actually think that he's going to keep track of it. Um, the XLE. Okay, so this one's going to be an intriguing one. This is why. So the XLE, you get all the, well, it's Exxon and Mobil. That's the big numbers. Exxon is 21.9%. Chevron, 16.2. This is up 29 cents right now. On Friday, you just had the opposite take place, meaning that you had Exxon down, you had Chevron up. The XLE stayed flat, however, uh, because of Chevron. This doesn't look to me like I can get any traction at all. You know, we just went in from the oil market. We just went from, what, the 42 area to 48. Looks like it's going to go to 50. Uh, the XLE went, did go from 63 to 66. But you are coming right into some severe uh, volume. 33 million shares you're coming into. You're doing, doing 11 million today. If we take a look at this and we put this on a weekly... Last week we did 77 million. You're coming into 82 million, 70, 71 million, as well as 93 million. 93 million, $67 and in, in, uh, 86 cents. We, we hit 67 today. So uh, we go over to ExxonMobil and just take a look at the two giants inside there. Uh, Exxon Mobil came down hard on Friday, came down with seven, 22 million. You're up on eight. No big deal there. Uh, Chevron, different ball game. Chevron gets some juice behind it. Uh, you know, Chevron saved the XLE in a huge way. Uh, that went from 106 to 110. Uh, well, 109. Well, we hit 110 today in two days. Uh, this took out a swing point. Let me see how the weeklies look. Yeah. 38 million. Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be dicey. So check it out. So at $108.49, you have 38 million shares. We got over that last week with 30 million versus 38, and they closed underneath it. Now you're over it again. Yeah, this can get higher, but this needs a, more buyers, too. It looks to me like 110.81 is game, but if you get up to that level, you're going to need just some monster volume, like, like, like 49 million. And today we've only done 5 million, so that basically pushes out to about uh, 25 million in the rest of the week. That is no big deal um, as to uh, how much it can do. Small caps. Let's get over to the small cap market and look at the small caps. Small caps right now. The IWM is down 25 cents. You're trading 141.70, excuse me, folks. You're back inside the lower range. Let me put this on a monthly for a set. I'll put it on a weekly. So on the weekly, no, it's, it's got to go lower on the weekly. So really, it's 140.86. Let me put the actual indice up. We'll put the Russell up, the Russell 2000. So in order to get in the lower range, yeah, it has 1414, approximately 1414. That is, that is, so the, the Russell, which is intriguing about the Russell, the Russell's been here now since December of 2016. So, uh, well, we're only in 17. So it's been here a year, right at this level. And, you know, when the Russell moves, man, it, 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 can, it can move very quickly whether it's up or down. But as you can see from that consolidation, we haven't got forward traction all year, you know, where, of course, the Dow Industrials uh, definitely has, the S&P has, the NASDAQ has, um, all of the above. And uh, as I said a little bit earlier, it's going to be Apple is the last major 
large NDX stock that can move it very quickly. Apple's coming out after the close tomorrow. And what Apple does, Apple comes out at 430. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 89 all-time highs. NASDAQ is down 21. S&P is up fractionally. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels its rate to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to tfnn.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's tfnn.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 83, NASDAQ down 24, S&Ps right now are flat. And, folks, uh, tomorrow, as, you, uh, as we kick off August, uh, we are kicking off a promotion. Uh, and what this promotion is all about is this. We're, we're going to give away $5,000 worth of um, promotion prizes on Facebook. Uh, what we'd like you to do is this, is that we'd like you to go over to Facebook tomorrow morning. Uh, like us, and what you're going to see when you go over there is that uh, each and every day we are going to have a, a contest. Tomorrow, uh, what we're going to be uh, talking about, uh, most of the time, well, I believe all the time, we are definitely going to be talking about what market closes um, at the end of the day. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be doing the Dow Industrials. Uh, the, the way you do this, uh, so the first prize... Uh, out here tomorrow is going to be a subscription to Market Insights. The second prize is going to be my book, The Out of Time and the Trade. Third prize is going to be uh, Think or Swim mouse pad. And then we're going to do, do a couple of random drawings and give away some constitutions and declaration of independence. 
uh, as we go through the month, you're going to see uh, all the uh, talk hosts that we have on TFNN. Uh, it's going to be their newsletters. It's going to be board games. It's going to be all of the above. We're going to uh, plan on having a lot of fun with this, and we'll see uh, who can nail uh, some of these uh, indices uh, at the close. So check it out on the Friday. So what will happen is this, is that tomorrow morning, uh, come over there, 8.30, 9 o'clock, whatever, you're going to see, you go to TFNN on Facebook, you're going to like us, and then in the comment, you're going to comment on the post. And with where, where the post is, meaning that what is the finish tomorrow for the Dow Industrials, you're going to put your number. And uh, we will announce the winners the following day. Because what ends up happening, of course, is that you have the Dow Industrials. Um, basically, once they close, you can actually go to the NYSE, uh, see what the actual close is, and see how close you came to it. And we will more than likely be announcing the winners the following day on the show that my son and uh, Tommy and myself, we do at 10 o'clock. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. Volume-wise out here, uh, what you have is this, is that on the NYSE, you got 550 million right now. They'll throw they'll throw a couple hundred million in there. So that'd be about 750 on the Nasdaq Composite. Right now you're at 1.6. That'll do about 1.8. Uh, we take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs out here. I've done uh, 29 million. So you can see what's happening here. That this what we're actually doing out here right now is that we're testing the lows. Uh, that would generate it out here last Thursday. You test them with dramatically lighter volume. So this thing wants to bounce. Um, the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. Uh, inside the SPY, what you have is that uh, that's kind of doing the same thing. The SPY, we're coming down at 36 million, really sideways to slightly down. 36 million versus the 70 million. Uh, diamonds, they're a whole different ball game. Uh, diamonds are just going up on uh, basically air. Uh, what the Diamonds did have, though, uh, last uh, Thursday, they had volume uh, as they went topside. You know, the small caps, the IWM small caps, uh, they, let's see, have they held 140? Uh, this is interesting. So the small caps haven't been, able to hold, haven't been able to hold the low of last Thursday, which is 140.155. Now, you're into it with lighter volume. They haven't been able to hold it, but, you know. The window dressing deal, folks, yeah, they'll get this thing going. Wild card out here, the, this wild, the, the dollar index is the wild card. And you know what's going to be intriguing here? It looks to me, and, you know, see, the market has loved this weak dollar because when you take a look at the correlation, if you want to see the correlation, it's pretty intense. You know, in the United States, yeah, you get high up prices, dollar gets killed. You spend the money in the United States, no problem. You go, you go try to spend this in Europe, guess what? Anyone that's bought the market and they're from Europe, they've been losing money left and right. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN. The following is a presentation of TFNN.
The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Nick in Tampa. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, it is an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. We appreciate you calling. No problem. Um, dude, I've been listening to your show for about two years now, and it has just been wonderful. I listen to you, Basil, Andy, and you guys do an amazing job. Well, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Last day of July. You guys, this is pretty wild, man. Take a look at one of our four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials closed up 60 bucks at 21,891.12. That's an all time high. NASDAQ down 26, S&P's down two, gold contract up a buck, 1276.30 an ounce. Silver up 13 cents. $16.82 an ounce. Platinum, up four bucks at $9.40 an ounce. Copper, up a penny and a half, almost two pennies, $2.89 a pound. That's, uh, that's really had a, a run. We've gone from a $2.35 to $2.89. Looks like it wants to run into the $3 level. Oil, up 54 cents, $50.25 a barrel. That thing's going after its uh, higher swing point, which is in the 52, 53 area. Bonds, 10-year note. Down two ticks, 125.28. 30-year bond off four ticks, 153.02. Now, both notes and bonds, folks, they came down hard last Tuesday. They repaired some of that damage Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, it looks to me like we are going to try to test that low from last Tuesday. And I expect it to hold, by the way. Uh, this is going to be all about window dressing the next three or four days here. King Dollar. King dollar got smashed once again, down 424 ticks, trading 92.690. King dollar just can't catch a bid, folks. That's the bottom line. Now, we, de we definitely have divergence, excuse me, folks, between where, sorry about that, where king dollar actually is versus where the gold contract is. You know, the bottom line is that when you get king dollar going down almost a half a penny and gold's flat, it's like, okay. What does that mean? Well, we're going to see what that means. But my expectation is that we're actually going to have good old King Doll is going to get uh, some kind of a dead cat bounce. Um, you know, it tried twice last uh, week, failed both times. Uh, it didn't even try it today. Today it just went south all the way. The euro is trading at 118 and a quarter to the US dollar. The yen is at 110 and a quarter to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Okay, so our cash S&P is at 2472.77. Your high is 12 points higher. I expect what we're going to see in the next couple of days, folks, is that this S&P, the cash S&P, is going to go for that high, which is the 2484. Dow Industrials closed at an all-time high today. Um, you know, uh, what did happen, it was really intriguing, uh, they sold it down uh, basically 30 bucks right at uh, two minutes of four. Um, we had the Dow Industrials uh, have a high out here today of 21,929. Bottom line, they, they just sold it down. They actually sold it down 40 points right at the close. Uh, still closed at all-time highs, though. NDX 100, different animal. So NDX 100 got to a high out here today of 59.32. Uh, couldn't handle price. Closed it to 58.80. I do expect you're going to see that make another run. I don't expect we're going to get to the high. I expect it's going to make a run, though, uh, up and at least try to test today's high, maybe even get as high as 59.39. The composite, same type of setup inside the composite. What you have with the composite is this. The composite right now um, got to a high today of 63.96. The high is 64.60. Uh, composite gave it up today. I don't see the composite getting to the high, but I do see it 
trying to get up into a higher high than today, meaning 64.32. The, the high today was 63.96. Um, Apple, Apple is the one that can actually um, get that baby going. Apple's coming out with its numbers after the close tomorrow night. 4.30, actually, the Apple will come out. So Apple won't be out uh, when the first session of the NASDAQ futures is still open. They close at 4.15. They come out at 4.30. Uh, you know, Apple's come off that high and come off uh, pretty heavily on the 9th of uh, June. That being said, uh, we came down the 9th of June with 64 million. You came down last Thursday with 32 million. Uh, this was testing this out here today with 19 million. So the top of the consolidation is probably game for Apple, meaning that uh, you're at 148, 155 could be game for Apple. Uh, that's enough to put a little juice uh, Wednesday morning inside that NDX 100 for that uh, test once again. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract out here today. We're on the December contract. We had a low of 1271. You are trading 1275. Um, we, this contract wants to run to the highs of April and June, which is 1307. You know, that being said, you know, we've had to run from the 1211. Um, it looks to me uh, not quite right as to the aspect of why the gold contract couldn't move today when, in fact, the dollar moves south with a vengeance, the yen moves south with a vengeance, okay? And those correlations uh, are pretty direct. You know, the yen has just gone from 114 to 110. Uh, you know, the lower end of this, which the yen wants to get into, is the 109. We'll see where it breaks 109, you get 108. Um, you start putting that together, and that's uh, basically saying that something's around the corner here that that good old dollar wants to basically catch a bid. The bond market, and this could be all about window dressing, by the way, too, folks. Uh, the 10 year note, that's at uh, 125.28. I expect you're going to see that test out the 125.15 and then shoot all the way up to this 127.08. Uh, 30 year, I'm looking for the same thing. The, the correlations are going to be, this is going to be a pretty cool week inside the correlations, folks, because what you do have, you have had a slew of earnings come out. We're going to have a slew of earnings this week. Inside the NDX, uh, that being said, it's really only Apple, one of the big dogs that are left that can actually move the NDX. Uh, I suspect in between that, what you're going to have is that you're going to have the aspect of uh, uh, the bonds, retest that low, and then take off topside once again. And if we go over to the dollar index, what you're going to see is that the dollar uh, out here today, uh, bottom line, it's going to show up in a lot of charts tonight, folks, because what the dollar index did today is that it broke the consolidation that this baby has been in since March, whoops, close that one, uh, since March of 2015. Um, so that's pretty intense. You know, the bottom of that consolidation just tucked its nose right underneath the bottom. 93.155. And we are at 92.730. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow finished up 60. NASDAQ down 26. S&P's flat. We're going to right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Trading is different than investing, but the opportunity to take advantage of short-term trends is only one if you get the direction right. Direction leveraged and inverse ETFs offer bold trades on U.S. and international stocks and bonds. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over and take a look at that uh, oil market. Uh, so uh, oil out here, folks, right now trading uh, 5026. You did 754,000 contracts out here. Uh, you're coming up into the swing high from uh, May 25th, which is 52.38. And it looks to me you're going to get there. Now, in the last hour, I was talking about the aspect of um, Venezuela and the um, amount of oil that we actually import per day. We, we import, folks, 700,000 barrels of oil per day, okay? Uh, Venezuela, of course, has been in a mess for a long period of time, almost 20 years now. Just kept getting worse. Uh, well, it just come across the tape uh, that uh, the Trump administration is imposing san sanctions directly on uh, the president uh, of Venezuela, Maduro, after the vote Sunday, was a step towards rewriting the country's constitution. Uh, bottom line, uh, yesterday's, uh, his, uh, his uh, uh, Secretary of Treasury's Steve Mnuchin's uh, statement, yesterday's illegitimate elections confirmed that Maduro is a dictator who disregards the will of the Venezuelan people. Secretary Mnuchin said in a statement, by sanctioning Maduro, the United States makes clear our opposition to the policies of the regime and our support for the people of Venezuela who seek to return their country to a full and prosperous democracy. Uh, what you have here, folks, is this. This is where the, um, the financial, the political, uh, all intertwine together. And what it's all about is this, is that if they wanted to basically get the guy out, we don't buy their oil, but if we don't buy their oil, then we wanna, we're going to take a look at our gasoline price. So our gasoline price is a buck sixty-six right now. You want to see the gasoline price uh, <laughs> go up to three dollars in about a heartbeat? That will probably happen. That's the first part. Second part comes down to the aspect about who owns all the debt. Well, it's our banks that own all the debt. Um, third part is that guess what? If you, uh, Goldman Sachs was getting taken to the cleaners about three weeks ago because they just turned around and they actually made another deal so that the aspect, what has happened is this, is that the debt has got paid uh, for the amount of money owed so they can stay in the market uh, versus basically importing food or anything else into the country. So uh, you're going to see this thing continue to play out, but evidently... Um, 
you know, the, the top news out here is that they are sanctioning um, the president and they're, they're claiming they're going to get uh, whatever assets he has uh, in the United States. I suspect he doesn't have any assets in the United States. Let's go to uh, Ken in Kansas. Hey, Ken, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Glad to hear from you. You too, man. How you been? I'm been, doing good. Hope you are. Good. I am. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to have you look at MRCY. They come out with earnings tomorrow after the bell. I'd like to see what you like to think about it. Let's take a look. So you got Mercury Systems. They design, manufacture, market, uh, digital signal processing, computer systems. Okay. Uh, so the low is 21. The high is 44. It hit a high this month. Put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so you got an ABC up. So let's see what that does. Okay, so your A point on this is approximately 30 bucks. Your B is 40, so you get 10 bucks, which is 46. Well, you get a confirmed ABC up. It took out the B point the week of uh, the 23rd of June, but you almost finished the ABC up. So your 46 would be the A to B equals C to D. Okay. You know, so do you own this? You're looking to buy it. What are we doing? I'm uh, just looking to buy it. I yeah, I wouldn't. I, before. I'd let let it come out with the numbers first because okay. the risk is way. What happens on on ABC structures on the uh, way up and way down? Once they finish, they do something different. You know, not okay. not on a long term basis, but when you're only two points away from a finish or an ABC structure on the way up, it's like okay, man. You know, yeah, that can finish it and and it finishes it and gives it up on spades, the night of the, you know, earnings, and then all of a sudden the next day it just goes south. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Thanks for the info, bud. Have a great one, man. Have a safe Thank one. Bye-bye. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, commodities out here today. Uh, natural gas took a big hit, folks. Natural gas down 4.2%. Now, the thing that's pretty wild about this, this broke out as bottom. Uh, the bottom of natural gas is 283. You're at 281. Um... That is saying that uh, NG1, NG1. So let's see. The good thing about this is that that's also saying that coming into the Gulf of Mexico, they're not expecting any, the market's not expecting any storms in here, which would be great for us in the Gulf of Mexico. So your lowest swing point now, and this is 255. You're at, uh, and the high of that lowest swing point, folks, is 282. So you already broke 282. You're at 281. That's saying natural gas is a game for uh, 250, which would be, you know, pretty pretty intense, um, no doubt. Uh, we had uh, the mover out here today was sugar. Sugar was up 3.7 percent. Then they had the crude, the crude market. Uh, gasoline was up 1.8. Uh, diesel was up 1.7. And sorry, again, crude was up that 1.1. We get over and take a look at the silver market now. The silver market was intriguing out here today because. Silver's not backing off. Uh, now, this has been a lag it compared to gold. Uh, that being said, um, you know, we'll see how this attacks the $16.91 swing high from the 29th of June. Um, we attacked that. We, you know, the volume wasn't enough today. We need about 100,000 contracts, and we did 54,000 today. Um, you know, I think 1780 is game inside the silver market. The real question is going to be, um, what do we have the next few days uh, inside the currency markets? Because this currency move by the dollar was absolutely huge. You take a look at the Canadian dollar, if you want to just see how intense it is. The Canadian dollar, you talk about strength, it just went from 137 Canadian dollar to one US dollar, now at 124. That is one big number. So if, if you think in the context of thousands of dollars, right? You can just say, okay, 137,000 equals 100,000. Now you only need 124,000 to get 100,000 US dollars. So you can see that move is extraordinary. If we go over to the euro and you want to see that the move inside the euro, this is, a, this is more intense. You know, um, we could buy uh, 104 euro, 104,000 euros for $100,000 in March. Now it costs us 118,000 to buy 100 euros, 100,000 in euros. So you can see that th that difference is just dramatic. That difference is worth $14,000 more, right? So what, that's approximately 12 percent. 
and April, May, June, July in four months. That, that is an, an intense move, folks. There's no two ways about that. And the heads up in that move, of course, is the aspect is that, you know, you get a weak currency. Yes, a weak currency, you can push out product across the world. There's no doubt about that. Uh, what that does uh, is that correlation-wise, most times if you have strong economies, though, you do not have a weak currency. And uh, that's where the, the whole heads up is going to come. Why is the dollar going down so dramatically? We'll find out uh, if, in fact, it's going to be all about the battle that's going to take place in September about our debt limit, because that's the next big thing that's coming up. You know, there's going to be a million politics in between that. But the debt, the debt deal, September 28th, Mnuchin says he needs something by September 28th. Now, they always put a date out that's earlier. We'll see where that shakes out. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDI and equal housing lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up 60, NASDAQ uh, down 26, S&P's flat. And, uh, you know, we're just talking about uh, the dollar, talking about uh, uh, the debt ceiling. So, uh, well, we're moving on, the administration's moving on here to the tax bill. So this just came across. White House officials outlined uh, what one of them called an aggressive timetable Monday for getting a tax overhaul in place before the end of the year. Uh, a top uh, White House legislative aide said the plan for a tax code rewrite is to start hearings in a mock-up of the bill after Labor Day, so a version can get through the House in October and the Senate in November. That's going to be, well, yeah, let me read the rest of this first. Uh, he also said that the 2018 budget resolution 
The first step to get the tax bill passed without Democratic support, support would be agreed upon in September or October. Now, when he says September or October, this morning, what you had out here is that Steve Mnuchin is saying, bottom line, September 28th is the deadline. But as I was just saying a little bit earlier, uh, they can seem to push, uh, all Treasury secretaries can do this, uh, push those deadlines around. Um, so that I think, uh, so that I think is an aggressive schedule, but uh, that is our timetable. Uh, White House uh, Legis Affairs Chief Mark Schott said in a tax event in Washington sponsored by Americans for Prosperity. That's a group backed by the industrialists Charles and David Koch, uh, Koch rather. Um, the National Economic Director Gary Cohen repeated the message saying that after, before, saying before a listening session with real estate industry members and the administration and congressional lawmakers were in heavy drive to a tax reform. Uh, Steve Mnuchin said at the event that the plan was to have a tax bill going forward through the normal process beginning September 1st. Well, we're, we're going to be October 1st tomorrow. That ain't going to happen. The White House has said it wants lower corporate individual tax um, rates, eliminate deductions, and simplify the code, despite the officials' assurances on timing, many obstacles and unanswered questions remain about how to offset cutting tax rates with new revenues so that tax changes can be permanent under the congressional budget rules. Uh, Schott said that the White House probably wouldn't be pushing for so-called full expensing, which would allow companies to fully deduct their capital spending for, from income immediately instead of over the years. House Speaker Paul Ryan had pushed for full expensing along with the controversial border-adjusted tax on imports in his tax blueprint released last June. So the border-adjusted tax is already gone, folks. What well, that was and is, uh, and you're going to see this going forward in this tax bill, is that our largest companies, our largest U.S. companies are going to be fighting tooth and nail inside this tax bill because um, you get the winners and you get the losers. Uh, that border tax, okay, was a disaster, uh, and they were fighting their biggest uh, financial companies that give them the most amount of money. It, that thing was, was a no-brainer uh, just to get going, because uh, you're going against Walmart. It's like, oh, really? You know, you're going to go against the largest um, producer of jobs in the United States, even though they're, they're lower-paying jobs? It's not going to happen. Uh, you're going to see the same type of deal when we start talking about expensing, when we start talking about um, tax credits, all of the above. You know, what you hear on a continual basis out there is that you, you hear the aspect of um, low-income people getting tax credits. What you don't hear, and this is where it comes down, is the tax credits that a GE, a Northrop, a Boeing get when they're hundreds of billions of dollars in tax credits. Um, Okay, a few details of the planned tax code rewrite have emerged from weekly closed-door tax meetings between Trump advisors and the congressional leaders, leading analysts to fear that any tax rate cuts may be shallower than many hoped. That would jeopardize Trump's goal of spurring job creation and economic growth and do little to prevent the U.S. companies from shifting their income and tax liabilities offshore to lower tax uh, to lower tax countries. Negotiations have made enormous progress despite being uh, pretty far apart when the effort to rewrite the tax code during the, the transition, Cohen said Monday morning. Bottom line, nothing is going to get, my, my take on this, folks, nothing is going to get done in the aspect that they think they're going to write everything behind the wall, come out with it, and then think it's going to pass. The thing that's, that is a mind blower about the aspect, and, and I suspect that the tax code should be not, it's going to be just as hard as the, the um, health care, probably. It shouldn't be, but what you have is this, and this is where they're not being, what blows my mind about them writing a tax code behind the wall is this. These are guys that have worked for Goldman Sachs, large industrial companies, and they know that these large industrial companies have different motives inside the aspect of how much they want to pay tax and what they want written off. You know, there was an article, uh, I forget how many uh, accountants GE has working for it just to make sure that they pay the least amount of tax possible. Now, that's totally legal, there's no doubt about it. But that's what they're facing. They're not facing you and I. They're facing the aspect of our monster companies 
and how it goes. And we can go right back to Venezuela because I can tell you flat out the reason that there's not sanctions on Venezuela inside the uh, oil business is twofold. The biggest one, though, is that our banks own their debt. That's, that's what's going on. So if they go after the oil, well, of course, you go after the oil, that's political suicide because what ends up happening is that our gas prices will go through the roof. Gas prices go through the roof. It doesn't matter what type of reality show we have in Washington, D.C. Everyone's going to say, I'm paying three fifty for gas again. I don't like it. So that's off the table. Uh, what is on the table with the tax deal, though, has to do with the large companies fighting, and it's not going to be easy. You know, we, we, it should be, you know. It, just like, you know what's amazing is that when you think about the health care deal, it should be so easy that the government should be able to buy drugs as one unit, and you can't do it. Think about that for a second. That's absolutely bizarre. And guess what? Congress doesn't want to change it. Why do they want to change it? They don't want to change it because they're getting so much money. They'll blame everything else for our health bills going up dramatically because they're getting so much money from the pharmaceutical business. You know, so you're dealing with legal bribery on a continual basis. On the tax code, it's going to be a different ball game. It's going to end up, you know, more than likely being um, <laughs> the aspect of what large company will be losing the most amount of money and the first rights that they come out. And all they have to do, which is going to be really easy, is go into two or three congressmen or senators, senators in, in particular, because the, the vote is, is so close. And guess what? Nothing more than likely is going to get done. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go take a look at the larger um, volumes in the equity market today. And, and we did have some volume in the market today. We had 998 million in NYSE. We had 1.8 billion in the NASDAQ. Uh, we had Bank of America up nine cents. You have uh, Twitter down 66. Ultra Group was down buck 97. Oh, that one's going to get interesting. Let's go look at it, Philip Morris. So, Philip Morris, now called Ultra Group, uh, this thing got hit big time on Friday. We went from 74 to 60. You're at 64 right now. This is down on volume, but this is all about the FDA um, is saying that they want to basically, you know, get the amount of tobacco out of cigarettes so that folks don't get addicted. And, uh, you know, Philip Morris is vulnerable in a big way. I mean, Philip Morris is taking wants to trade to 34 bucks and you're at 64 right now. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger's TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels its rate to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. 
Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over to Pandora. So, Pandora uh, Media, this is uh, the big radio uh, internet the broadcaster. That closed at $8.95. That's trading right now at $9.25. And let's see what they have to say. So um, the revenue, the revenue estimate was uh, 367 million. They made 376. So uh, that came in above. Uh, earnings per share, uh, they're still losing big time. They, the estimate was losing 25 cents. They only lost 21 cents. Um, bottom line, though, they lost. Um, so Pandora rose, uh, yeah, seven percent. Big deal, 25 cents. Um, an extended trading after reporting financial results that surprised the analyst forecast, the positive side after months of turmoil at the online music company. Shares of uh, the company traded at 965. Well, they're nine and a quarter right now. Uh, this is the first uh, earnings report since the company sold the 19% stake uh, to Sirius uh, XM Holdings and dismissed their chief executive office. Of Pandora is going to be. Uh, we'll provide guidance for the third quarter in a call with analysts. Uh, that call starting in a few minutes. Uh, VNO. VNO is a large REIT, uh, Vernado uh, Realty Trust. This closed at $79.35. Uh, that's still trading at the same price. These don't move around much uh, after the close anyway. Uh, so the estimate was uh, $1.25. They made $1.25. Um, the revenue estimate was uh, $633 million. They made $626. Now, that, no doubt, uh, that's not great. Uh, the market never likes it, folks, when your gross revenue is going down and you're claiming that uh, you just made the, your numbers. Uh, JBT, I think this is JB Hunt. Now, this is a big one we want to see. Oh, no, no, it's not. John Beam Technologies. Okay, so this closed at uh, $92.40. That's trading at 92.30, and the estimate here was 381, 381 million. They made 386. Uh, their earnings were 58 cents, and they that estimate was 51. So let me see what this company does. Okay, they operated technology solution provider. The company designs, manufactures, tests service systems for global industrial food processing customers through its food tech segment and domestic and international air transportation through aerotech segment. Man, some of these companies just go below the radar and you don't just hear of them. This is a $1.6 billion company. Yeah, so it's, it's no doubt uh, a company that is, uh, has acts, acts, big expansions. Um, integrated device uh, technology that closed at 26.14. This is trading at uh, 26.51. This company they develop, manufacture, 
semiconductor products. Let's see what they have to say. So the estimate was 32 cents. They made 33. The revenue estimate was 190, 195 million. They made 196. So uh, bottom line, um, that no doubt, uh, that's been a consolidation for quite a while. And it looks like it's going to uh, continue inside that consolidation. Now, folks, uh, we're kicking into August 1st tomorrow. Pretty, pretty amazing, actually. Uh, and the month of August, if you come over to our web page at TFNN, you're going to see that we are kicking off a promotion uh, using Facebook. We'd like you to come over starting tomorrow. Well, you can go over anytime you want, but tomorrow the contest starts. We're going to be giving $5,000 of prizes away. Uh, each and every day we're going to be giving prizes away. And what we're, we're going to be looking for is the closes of the major indexes. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking, you're going to, what you'll see in the morning, let's picture about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning at TFNN on Facebook, you're going to see that we're going to be asking for the close of the Dow Industrials. Uh, what you do in order to basically come into this contest, you just like us on Facebook, you give us the number that you think that the Dow Industrials are going to close, um, and what we will do uh, tomorrow, uh, the prizes are going to be, uh, you get a month of market insights, we get the out of time of the trade uh, my book, you get a mouse pad, and we'll give away uh, a constitution as a random prize. So every day we're going to be giving away random prizes also. So I'd love to you to come over there, check it out. Uh, and this is open to everyone. So uh, just c come over to TFNN. Now, as you're over at the, the main page of TFN, you're also going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, Basil not only has a great radio program, he has a great newsletter. He is doing two separate webinars. They come together. Uh, Wednesday night is the first one, August 2nd. It's an hour and a half webinar. The second one, we're going to take a week rest and we'll do the second one on Wednesday, August 16th. Uh, what this is going to be all about is this. Can sector rotations buoy the market into 2018? It's hard enough to think of we're coming into the aspect of uh, August, never mind 2018. I know <laughs> I just cut... I uh, sent the credit card the other day, and it's like, oh, my God, the expiration date is 2021, which is like, wow, man, okay? So it, it just keeps going. It's one thing you never can get back is time. But anyway, if you'd like to um, come into that webinar, you can come over to our website at TFNN, test drive Basil's newsletter. You're going to get a great newsletter for a month free. You're going to commit get two great workshops. Each one of those workshops are an hour and a half long. And if you can't make them live, don't worry about it because it's going to be on your page. It's going to be on there for 30 days. And you can, um, bottom line, look at it whenever you would like. Um, export details. This gets interesting. So uh, what we are going to be hearing about quite a bit right now is this. Is that, So picture this. Uh, now, this is pretty cool, actually. We, uh, we're coming into the budget, and you're coming into the aspect of, um, you know, what the budget's going to be for 2018. That being said, uh, the Treasury just came across with the amount of bonds that they're going to be selling, um, you know, come August. And they're actually selling $2 billion less than, than they, they thought they were going to sell a couple weeks ago. So in that case, it's actually pretty good because they're saying just to pay the bills, uh, they need $2 billion less. Now, that does, that's not a lot of money because what the Treasury likes to do is this. The Treasury likes to have a $150 billion cushion, okay, and they should have a cushion like that because things are expensive, um, at all times. Uh, so when we look at bonds in general, what has happened the last year to year and a half is that we have issued less bonds because what has happened is that there's more money coming in the Treasury. And it's not too hard to really understand when you just look at the aspect of the Dow Industrials. You know, you, you, you take a look at the Dow, uh, and you got to remember something. Every single time that someone sells stock, bottom line, a capital gain is going to come in. It's either a short-term capital gain or a long-term capital gain. You know, so the amount of money that has come in is quite a bit. That being said, now this is where there's going to be a really wild card happening. And what the wild card is going to be is the aspect of uh, there's plenty of folks that when Trump got in figured that 
I'm not going to sell right now because the rate is going to get down so dramatically. Well, nothing's happened yet. And in fact, if that rate doesn't go down, you are going to see a huge amount of taxes come in because of the fact that they didn't sell last year. They did basically push it off to the first of this year. But if that rate doesn't come down, good old Treasury is going to get the bread big time. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so let's go over to Apple because tomorrow, folks, it's going to be all about Apple. Apple uh, is trading 148.73. Uh, after the close tomorrow night, Apple's going to be coming out with its numbers um, at 430. So when we take a look at uh, where Apple is at this particular point gross-wise, uh, it's pretty impressive. So this quarter here, now this is their, their, this quarter here, they always come out with the least amount of money that they actually make. You know, when we take a look at their, their gross numbers, their gross numbers, uh, the first quarter is always the biggest. They, they come in with 78 billion on the first quarter, second quarter, 52 billion. They're expecting 44 billion on this quarter. And then the fourth quarter, 49 billion. So you can see it's always the first quarter because the first quarter, of course, on Apple has to do with uh, the last quarter of the year, which that, that's kind of how their fiscal year uh, is. Uh, that being said, we're at 148.73. If we take a look at the how they're set up, 
what you're going to see is that Apple's been in this consolidation uh, since May of this year. So the bottom of the consolidation is 144. The top of the consolidation is 156. Now, Apple, no doubt, you know, came down and came down hard um, the second week of June. That's when we got to 142. That being said, the 142 got tested when it got to 142 June 30th. That says that now it can go test the high, which is 156. So I expect what we're probably going to have, and we'll actually know better as we come into that close tomorrow, uh, watching how Apple's trading, that more than likely, bottom line, whatever numbers they come out with, they're going to basically goose this thing up to the 156 again. What that would do is that that would put uh, just enough juice inside the uh, NDX 100 uh, to get closer to testing the high. I don't expect the, that the NDX is going to, and the reason I don't, folks, has to do with the aspect of how the NDX has given us uh, three separate warning signs. Number one, that it not only wants to go south, but it's a fast move, man. I mean, these, these in, excuse me, folks, inside the NDX, you're, you're talking about very fast moves that when this thing came down, it came down fast and furious. And when these things let go, they let go and they let go very quickly. If you just look at Amazon, what well, you're going to see Amazon in two days has just gone from 1,083 to eight to no to 987, and it has volume. Amazon's on its way down to 927. Um, growth stocks, when they go up, they're awesome. When they go down, it seems like they're never going to stop going down. And in Amazon's case, because it went up so dramatically for such a long period of time. This is going to keep uh, heavy pressure inside the NDX. Now, if Amazon breaks 945, which I expect it will, Amazon will be down like the, it's 717 in a heartbeat. That's a 30% hit. But that's what Amazon likes to do. The last big hit Amazon took was in December of 2015. They went from $682. And in the matter of five weeks, it went from 696 down to 474. So you, you went down $200, okay, on a $700 stock. And then guess what? It said, see ya, don't want to be ya. Went top side again. Next hit it took, it went from 847 in October of 2016. Four weeks later, is at 710. That's $137, right? That's not as bad as uh, the hit that was taken in 2015. But you get, you get the gist of it. Uh, when these things go south, they can go, go south very quickly. Um, Apple, Apple is the last big NDX 100 stock that can actually move that index around very, very quickly. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Oh, look at them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.